Hey, welcome to the studio. Diana here today with a quick tip video on how to use your gelatos as watercolors. This is a, an easy technique that allows you to use your gelatos at both as watercolors and as uh, in stick form simultaneously. So I'm spraying down the silicone tray that is, um, this comes in the Honey Medium kit, but you could use a uh, any kind of a slick surface to do this. Okay, so I have lots of puddles of water on my tray here, and I'm using the metallic set for this. And what I'm doing is I'm rubbing just circling the gelato right into that water. And this is what's cool, is if I do this for a little bit, I can really get a thick paint. I can really control just how thick that paint is. Although I have to tell you something funny. I have, um, I just love to watch this happen. <laughs> It's just, it's as much fun really as um, watching watercolors move around. But um, so you just have to relax and let it go a little bit. It's a very zen sort of activity. Um, the really nice thing is if you just, you see my gelato resting right there in that puddle, and now it's wet. The gelato is wet, and this will not hurt your gelatos at all. It just will um, change the way you use them a little bit. So let me use, let me pull this out of the way. I'm just going to wet my paintbrush, and I do find a lot of people don't know about this. So let me show you quick. Um, when I'm doing watercolors, I wet my brush completely, and then I take a rag or paper towel. I like to use rags better for the environment. And I squeeze it. Do you see where I'm squeezing it? Let me get a better brush so I can show you this. This is all black here. I squeeze it right here at the base of the brush part. This is called the ferrule. And if a lot of water collects in that ferrule, you might have a hard time controlling your watercolors, and frankly, sometimes that's not a problem for me. But look at that paint. Look at that paint. I'm going to clean my brush. And the other thing you can do, of course, now, especially now that it's been sitting, collecting, getting damp, is paint, pick up paint right from the stick, of course. And um, this is something I think everybody does. So I'm just going to make a few more patches of color. So I've made some of the metallic, I believe that's metallic grape. That purple color is just gorgeous. And I'm going to swatch that out for you now. And uh, I was really just really pleased with the way this worked out for me and you can as you'll see in the attached blog post you can see how beautifully these colors layer one on top of another and in particular there you can see you can begin to see those colors mingling which is of course uh, the, the great uh, look of watercolor so these are not watercolors, they're gelatos, and they behave slightly different, and uh, they have unique properties of their own that I am looking forward to exploiting as much as I can. I hope you'll pop over to the blog post that will be linked below and check out a third way to use gelatos in a different sort of way. And uh, I hope that you enjoyed this video. I appreciate you spending some time with me today. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. 
and uh, enjoy your gelatos. See you soon.